hello guys welcome back to my channel in uh, this uh, video i'm going to take you through the number system conversion and uh, we are going to start with the octal to binary conversion if you have watched my previous video you will find that i have done other conversions for example i had already done the octal to decimal and i uh, had also done the binary to exaha decimal and also the binary to octal conversion so for this particular one i'm going to take you through on how to convert uh, an octal to a binary and these are the steps you write down the number you obtain the binary equi equivalent of each digits and you write it in three bits below the digits and uh, lastly you combine the binary number and you write the answer in the base two okay before we move to the actual example you need also to remember that uh, for the decimal for the binary it it must have two number because if you look at the by by means two and the numbers are either zero or one well for the octo it's a number system that is uh, made up of uh, eight different digits that is from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and uh, 7. So whenever you convert a number from octal to binary, the binary will always have a base 2 because the number of digits that are in the binary number system is 2. Okay, let's move to the actual example where we have an expand this one. So this is my example where we have for 41 base 8 so this is an octal number and we need to convert it to 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 a, to a binary number remember the rules these are the this is my conversion table so you need to be conversed with the this one for number zero it's supposed to have uh, in the binary three zeros for one it's one one zero zero one two zero one zero three zero one one four one zero zero five one zero one six one one six zero seven one 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 remember we had said that uh, the number of octo number that we have we have from number one to number seven well for the binary we have only two that is a uh, zero and one by means two so for this one remember the, the the steps the procedure so you write down the number and our number is uh, so my number is uh, four four one step two you obtain the binary equivalent of each digits and you write it in three three bits below the digits for the one as you can see it has for one it has zero zero one while for the four the four has one zero zero okay having done that the next step is to combine the binary numbers and you write the answer in this it's a very straight uh, thing to do. So you will have uh, one zero 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 one. So what we have done, we have combined the two digits. Then you write the answer in the base two. So this is base two, and that is the answer. The answer is one zero 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 one. So this is correct. This is a good work. I hope up to that point we are together. Okay, let's move to the next point. Our number in example two, we have five three six eight base eight. I will give you maybe two seconds. Maybe you can give it a trial, then you can do it together. So remember the rules, you write down the number. You obtain the binary equivalent of each digits in uh, three bits in three bits below the digits and uh, lastly you combine the binary number 
and write the answer in base 2. That is the, the best way to convert your octal to binary. Okay. Okay. So one minute remaining. That is seconds remaining. Okay, let me do it now. So my number, my number is uh, five, three, six. So from the table, you can see that uh, the value for the value for six. For the six, it's supposed to be one one zero. This is a one one zero. While for the three, it's a zero one one. While for the five, as you can see, it's supposed to be one zero one. This one, we have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. Okay, the next step is to combine the digits. So we have zero. Zero one zero one 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 zero. Then we have base two, and that is our answer. Our answer is one zero one zero one 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 zero base two. So this is correct. Okay, let's move to our next example where we have a number which has two parts. It has the fractional part and it has the integral part. Remember the integral part is the number that is supposed to be on the, the left hand side. Where the fractional is the number that is after the point, which is on the right hand side. Okay, so what you are going to do on this one, the steps are the same. The only thing that you are supposed to do is maybe to separate the point. You just separate the point. So you write down the number. Maybe I should give you maybe some few few minutes. You go through the whole thing. Maybe should I give you around, uh, let me give you three minutes to go through the thing.
Okay, I hope that uh, you have attempted the whole thing. So let me go through the whole thing. So my number is a uh, one, four. Then we have a point. There is a, a well, then the number is a one, four, point, point, four. And uh, the, for the one, it's supposed to be zero, as you can see from the table, zero, one. For the four, it's supposed to be one, zero, zero. Then we have a point. Then there's a point there. Then for the four, we have a hundred. So the next step is to combine the numbers. That is a zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. Then there's a point one, zero, zero. Okay, therefore, the final answer should be zero, zero. Sorry, 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 let me, let me correct this one. It's supposed to be, remember, for the binary, you ignore the, the zeros that are, you ignore these two zeros, this one, when you're writing the final answer. So the final answer will be one, one, zero, zero, point, zero point one zero zero then the base two so that is the answer to that particular question i hope now you have learned something through the whole thing it's a very simple concept as long as you have you are able now to interpret the step that you you are supposed to take for you to reach the final answer but uh, the most important part on uh, the binary to octal to binary conversion, you need to get yourself conversant with this table of conversion where we have the octal and the binary. Okay, maybe I should give you something small to practice with. Maybe you can uh, you can try to, to get the value of uh, 6. So you get the value of 6. So for the value of six, the answer will be definitely, you write down the number. Uh, so the number, and the number is uh, one, one, zero. Therefore, the answer will be one, one, zero, base uh, two. So thank you for taking time to watch. I know that uh, you have learned something on uh, the octal binary conversion. So in order to continue supporting the channel, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. In case you have any question or any suggestion, kindly write it down on the comment section. I will get back to you as soon as I see your question or suggestion. Thank you and bye-bye. Uh,